Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Extend Hopper plugin. So this is a really fantastic plugin which allows you to do a variety of things with hoppers, lightning rods and stuff like that. So what we can do is create effectively pipelines using these lightning rods. We can have filters to only filter certain items through. We can have auto crafters and you can create contraptions like this to improve your brewing and furnacing. So let's go ahead and see what we've created over here. Now this is a very simple pipeline, it's not very long, you can go up to 100 or even more if you change it in the config file. So if we were to put some items in here, they are going to go into the hopper and then along the pipeline and then they go into the chest here. So that's nice and simple, but what if we want to make it a little more complicated? So over here we have a hopper that is only going to receive boots and helmets of any type, so gold, iron. Now if I go in here and pop in maybe a sword, some leggings, boots, chest plate and then a torch, it will go along here and it's going to filter itself. So the only thing that's going to come in here is the boots and then everything else is going to end up over here. So that is what you can do with this plugin. Then we have an auto crafter here, so it will automatically craft whatever the item is on the crafting bench and go into the chest. And then over here we have a furnace. Now it's full at the moment, but what I can do is take some of this out and it will go in the order that you've placed the hoppers. So that's why the iron ore is on top and the coal is down below because it's got to match this. Same for over here, if you want the blaze powder on the left, that's where you put it and then we want the nether wart on top so that's why we have put it like this and then obviously we can take out the awkward potions and then it's going to start brewing again so let's go ahead and create a contraption so what we're going to do is so let's put a few chests down and create a couple different filters and i'm going to set it up the same way i did before with the pipeline and on each one we're going to pop a sign on the hopper and put R colon and then whatever we want to filter inside of it. You can do multiple lines if you want. And for this one we're just going to do grass. And then the final one we are going to do chest plate or underscore chest plate. So it uses every single one. So diamond, gold, iron, etc. So as you can see I did a quick build and I've put some different hoppers with filters on each of them. So now if I were to pop some items in here we can see where they land up which should be pretty interesting if I've done this correctly. And there we go, so we put some items in here. So in the ingot chest it's only going to be ingots of any type and then the grass is going to have only grass chest plate is going to have the single chest plate and then any other rubbish is going to be at the chest at the end. So that is the example of what you can do with it. Then if we wanted to make a automatic crafting one we need a crafting bench so we can grab that and pop it on top and then put a chest on top of that and then we would put an item frame and then whatever item we wanted to craft would be in there and that would create your automatic crafting bench. And then if you wanted to create a contraption like this, as I mentioned, it's important you put the hoppers in the correct order. So up here, up at the top, you would want to put whatever would be at the top of the smoker, which would be this box here, and then the coal would be at the bottom one. So here we are on the spigot page, you can see it's updated to 1.20 and it has been translated from Japanese. So here are the instructions and information and as you can see it goes all the way from a basic pipeline and you can go all the way down. These are the ones that we saw in game that I created and you can make some really wild contraptions if you put enough time in. Here are the receiving filtering units that we saw and then you can even load and unload shulker boxes as well. Here is the automatic crafting and then in the config you can also use remote chests as well if you enable that. But overall it is a really fantastic plugin and it works very very well. Here we are on the config file so if we jump into this there's only a couple lines you really don't need to do much. So you can enable the hopper crafting here. The max pipe length is a hundred which is incredibly long and then the max root length of a hopper and then down here cache is enabled and then the remote chest which we just saw on the spigot page is 
disabled by default so you can enable that if you want but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time Thank you.